Hi there, uh, Valerie Milano, the senior editor of the Hollywood Times, and I'm so happy to have an old friend of mine that I haven't seen for quite some time, and I'm so proud of her. I have Carla here, and she's going to introduce herself. Hi, I'm Carla Petullo. Thank you, Valerie. It's so great to be here. I am a composer, songwriter, and my recent album, So She Howls, was just nominated for a Grammy Award in uh, the Best uh, New Age Ambient or Chant category. And um, I'm very excited about that and to uh, be here. Yeah. Hey, you too. So great to see you. Well, Carla is all over the place, both literally and figuratively. She's <laughs> best known for her music that blends lush acoustics and layered vocals um, and, and experimental electronics, I must say. Uh, she <laughs> writes movie scores and is passionate about writing music that supports and advances inclusion for women, immigrants, and the LGBTQ plus uh, community. So let's start off with that Sandra Barnhart, Barnhart quote uh, on your website. Carla <laughs> is so fucking raw and groovy that it scares the shit out of me. Wow. <laughs> you scare Sandra Barnhart? <laughs> Bar 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 Barnhart, yes. Yeah. I've got to know how that makes you feel to know you scare someone <laughs> as scary as Sandra. <laughs> oh, man. You know, Sandra has been a, a, a longtime friend now and collaborator. And, um, you know, we met at South by Southwest. Uh, gosh, I think it was like 15, almost 15 years ago. Um, and, you know, South by Southwest. West is a very, you know, the festival's so fun, but a lot of times you're performing on the street or parking lots. And that's where I was performing when um, I opened for Sandra and she was performing. So it was a very raw setting. And, um, and my band White Widow at the time, you know, we were, uh, you know, very emotional, char emotionally charged. And, you know, it went from singing to screaming to like, you know, dark and emotional. And, um, and I, uh, I don't think, you know, when Sandra first met me, I didn't, she didn't really think that, you know, that was what was going to come out of me at the time. <laughs> So I think it just kind of took her by shock a bit, but, um, but, you know, I was so lucky to uh, meet her and become friends with her. Yeah. Lovely. I love it. And you're nominated for a Grammy in the new age category. And that makes you the first yeah. openly gay person ever nominated in that category. And congratulations again. Um, Thank you. A win would be special for you, for sure. But what what do you think it would mean to LGBTQ plus people everywhere? I think, you know, our voices need to be heard. And I think, you know, navigating, you know, our careers and even, you know, in the entertainment business, as we know, it's very hard to get to that point where, you know, people just accept you or like give you the space. And I, you know, I think we're even as women, we're, you know, up against that. I think, you know, I feel really honored to be, you know, a gay woman in this industry where often I'm looked at for, you know, people will judge me on my appearance or whatever, you know, not always the music. And so I think it's, it's, it's very sweet to be, um, to be heard and seen. And I hope that encourages other people within the community to keep to keep pushing and, and pushing for their voices to be heard because they need to be heard. Absolutely. And you're also yeah. you're also a cancer survivor and your album yeah. was ri written and recorded during your treatment. Um, yeah. You credit your recovery to the therapeutic creative process and Quite coincidentally, uh, February 4th is not only the date of the Grammy Awards, but it's also World Cancer Day. How special yeah. is that for you? I mean, it's really amazing. You know, I, I, you know, when I, when I was going through my healing and my treatment, I've met so many people along the way, uh, people who helped me, people, you know, just people, strangers, people I just met, you know, who would help me or give me the encouragement. Um, it's kind of like the other, 
side of something so horrible, you know, you get to see humanity and, and, and acts of kindness that people do. And I think, you know, this project will always be special for me because it came out of this dark period and, um, and I've been excited to share it and share and share the part of overcoming this illness. But I still take with me, you know, so she howls I is the name of the album, but I take with me the voices of the women that I've met on this journey. And um, in particular, the women who took the medicine uh, 30 years ago, I, I was very lucky to have a medicine to, um, really kick cancer's butt for me. Um, and that's due to these women who do these courageous trials. And so those voices are with me on this album. And, um, and I, and I, and I, I want to be a voice for, uh, someone in the future who goes through it. We said, um, and you've had quite the career as a film composer too, you know, with more than 30, 30 film scores to your credit. Uh, do you have a favorite film that you've scored? Oh, that's such a tough question. Is I it? you <laughs> because they're all so very different and um and you know and they all have very like yeah, I mean to me I just love good stories and feel so like honored to be a part of that process and you know when a director uh, or or producer come to comes to me and they you know they trust me with their their story it's pretty special and um and I like to honor that you know and 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 make you know and especially when it's a project in the LGBTQ plus community or you know like I just scored my first Disney project um uh, which stars Margaret Cho and I was just so excited that this film um, came out and that, you know, little kids are getting this via Disney plus. And it's, you know, it's about a girl coming out to her family. And, and I think it's so, um, it just means so much to me. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that Disney took this step, right. To put this out there. And so, um, I'm really proud to have scored that film. Uh, but I, I, I've I've been so lucky to work with so many amazing filmmakers. Good. Well, um, how can our viewers and our readers find you and the project that you that that is nominated? So, if you go to my website, which is carlapatulo dot com, you could also just probably look up "So She Howls," which is the name of the album, and um, and it's available on all streaming platforms and. Um, and yeah, I, I'm out there. So I'm on all the social media. So you can find me. <laughs> uh, are, are, you, are you thinking, what are you working on next? Next, I'm working on a docu-series right now. Like I'm just about to, to start that. And I'm also uh, about to start another album. So, uh, you know, I've really gotten into this like kind of healing album, healing music uh, space. And I, I, so I'm hoping to dive more into that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we are the Hollywood Times dot today. That's our website. And then our YouTube channel is the Hollywood Times official. And now that COVID is at bay, let's uh, get together. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For sure. Great to see you again, sweetie. Oh, so great to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Carla, keep up the great work. Talk soon. Talk okay. soon. Take good care. Luck on other words. Yay. Thank you. Have okay. a good one. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.